The Ministry of Health and Wellness is continuing to provide support to the Bodily Correctional Facility in the management of COVID-19 cases at the institution. Several prevention and control recommendations have been implemented, including isolation measures, restriction to social gatherings, and increased sanitization. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George says there has already been a vast improvement in the situation at the prisons. Of the 105 COVID-19 patients, 74 have fully recovered. The Ministry of Health, we have been working with the bodily correctional facility from quite early in the outbreak to ensure that there are measures in place to reduce the possibility because when you have so many persons um, living closely, the risk is, is higher. So with the first few cases, we did rapid testing to as many persons as possible so that we can get the results quickly and to start off the isolation. We have been working with the directors to ensure isolation of the positive cases and the suspects to reduce the, the impact. And we are continuing to do that and to manage um, um, as, as fast as. Um, up to yesterday, we've had 74 recoveries from there. So they, they are recovering well, but our epidemiology team, they're working closely with the facility to reduce the, the, the transmission of more cases there. Currently, all of the remaining active cases are stable. Members of the public are assured that hands-on measures are being implemented to manage and contain the spread of the virus on compound. Director of the Bodily Correctional Facility, Hilary Herman, says individuals who tested positive are being accommodated away from the general population. The staff who man the repurposed cell blocks, he clarified, are fully equipped with personal protective gear. Mr. Herman explained that other safety measures and strict adherence to protocols are in full effect. In early February 2021, a donation of 10,000 face masks was made to the correctional facility through the generosity of the government and people of Taiwan. Additionally, the public is reminded that all visitation by family and friends are suspended until further notice, as all safety and security measures are in full effect at this challenging time. Virtual visits are expected to recommence on March 15, 2021. Authorized item drop-offs for inmates are being accommodated daily by appointments 24 hours prior to the planned drop-off.